Like I said, we don't have time to phone our mothers, but we've got time hours on end for these free calls to people who are just conning us how much they love us. The day marriage comes, they'll run away. It's happening. You tell a man, if you're serious, come talk to my father. And he says, wait, wait, give me a little bit of time. What time? Time to just take you to bed, deflower you and walk out. A'udhu Billah. This is what is happening. I'm not ashamed of saying it because it's a reality. Protect yourself from it. One of the most powerful things that you have is your Iman. It's a gift of Allah. And the discipline that comes with it is only to protect you. Nothing else. It's only to save you from the dunya and, and, and the evil of this world as well as the evil of the next. Allahu Akbar. So don't let people fool you. Really. And then when it comes to the day, you say, look, I'm giving you a deadline. If you're not going to come to talk to my dad by this time, then uh, I'm sorry, I have to move on. And you know what? In your heart, you really want him to come. He never ever had an intention to come. Not at all. And what? He'll blame you on top of that. You're putting pressure on me. Are you putting pressure on me? I'll go away. Don't put pressure on me. Say, okay, okay, I'll give you one more month. You're still putting pressure on me. What's all this? How can you make yourself so cheap? For what? Tell the man, you come, you talk, then we will speak. This is how it should be. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and strengthen us. Really, we cry tears. We become depressed. We become sad. We stop eating. We lose our health based on a relationship that went sour, that was never really there. We thought that it was there. The other party always knew it wasn't. And they pretend to you that they're struggling and suffering when they are not. 